Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Melucci. This video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. Welcome, welcome to another standard stream where I'll be starting playing with um, what I believe to be the, the best deck in standard, which is the Sultai deck based off of a merged ultimatum, which is usually a one card combo. Sometimes it has happened that you lose the game after casting this card, but oftentimes it just shuts off the game on itself. Morning. Good evening, Kiori. Uh, the rest of the deck is a control deck with uh, counter spells like Negate and Juwire Disruption, removal spell like Eliminate Harmless Act, Extinction Event Binding the Old Gods, and some ramp spell in the form of Cultivate. The green is very light, as you can see. I cut the Wolf Willow Haven, I didn't like that card. I think you're better off in just interacting on turn 2 in other ways than just ramping. Check was triple green, so it is definitely important that you get your green mana, your, that you eat your greens, despite there is not that many green cards in the deck. In fact, this most likely looks like, looks like a, a Demir deck with a tiny splash of green. But, in fact, there's a triple green card hiding in the mix. Um, yeah, there's Shark Typhoon, Boring Clicks, Otter's Epiphany, Cure Best the Sea Ghost, Sega Restoration, and Valky, the, the, the Tibot Cosmic Imposter, are the best threat uh, to get with Emerged Ultimatum. Nothing fancy going on. Um, lots of uh, control tool in the sideboard. I'm very curious to see the matchup against uh, uh, the Mirror Rogues. That's definitely the matchup that I fear the most. So hopefully today we will battle some Demir Rogues. I made finally Diamond. It is a, it was a decent achievement, as it took me <laughs> many days. But we're we're finally on the Diamond Qs, and um, and yeah, let's we'll start the journey to Mythic today with Ultai Ramp. All right, I keep this. As you can see, Valky God of Lies. It is a you know a powerful. Planeswalker, you can pick up your tomato and such, but you can also cast it on turn two. That's what it makes it good. That's what it makes it good. Opponent doesn't play Yorian, so I'm assuming they aren't a uh, control deck. Usually these days, if you don't play Yorian, it means that you're kind of beating down. Right, so let's see. Valky can become anything. It can even become a low struck beast. The problem with becoming a low struck beast is that they can then kill it with a giant killer. Man, now you have such a clunky mana base. Alright, what if I just take Agile and Keeper here? I think that's what I'll be doing. Have a pass. So we removed the Agile and Keeper, which would have granted my opponent an extra card immediately. That was very good. And let's see how he continues here. Alright, it has giant killer, sure. Valky asks you all the time if you want to turn your creature into I don't even know why, but anyway. Oh wow, what a perfect draw. All right, let's cast it. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get two green here, I think. Is a merger to be the cost triple green? And I have uh yeah. Yeah. And the pass. Oh yeah, did Nassif say that? Interesting. Alright. I mean, streamer like to say... Uh, hot take. You have the clicks, I do that all the time as well, so it's certainly, it's certainly fine. Remember to... Never stick to the rules. Too much. Alright, here they offer me the trade, which it doesn't seem like... Oh yeah, I guess they get Edge and Keeper to attack with a low struck beast next turn. Hmm. Uh... Think thinking about if I should block or not here. I think I'm taking now, but I'm sure. I think I, th I think this game is mine though. I don't know. I don't see. Re I don't really see a way a way for me to lose. I can go exclamation mark close if you guys want. We can we can we can click that button. All right. I'll I'll foretell this creature. And I'll play another forest because I'm still unsure whether I want to. Uh, I'm still unsure whether I want to play this as an island or a swamp. Hmm. They go lotus cobra. Interesting. Okay. Sure. That resolves. 
Yeah, that was a very early exclamation mark, Lewis, but I feel like it. I feel I feel like it. I have uh, I have seen uh, I've I played every game in my head and that uh, and that's the outcome. I I decided for this game. <laughs> buongiorno, buongiorno. All right, I'll negate the shadows because Mashi is Mashi. Oh wow, they got green. Oh my, they got green. They can't shadows because Mashi is Mashi. No, vabbè. That's crazy. And now, <laughs> now I'm not gonna use my mind. I guess I'm playing Baby Shark Chum Block, but oh wait, what am I missing? Oh, they're red in pool. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't even know what I'm talking about. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's such. This is pretty serious. We do practice and stream. No, I, I didn't you ask me that yesterday. Said I said no. Maybe I'm. So, no, no, no. I'm practicing sealed. I'm practice sealed. All right, that's five. The board. That's a little bit more than five. You know what? I think my Valky has done enough. I think my Valky has done enough. What if I just chump with it? They get one one, but they have empty their hand. Huh? Maybe not. Maybe maybe it blocked the human? No, they don't. Uh, you know what? I don't mind blocking the human. This way if I draw a removal spell, I can kill the 1-1 one, one and the 5-5 five, five can't attack. Alright. I need any island or swamp. Oh, that's not bad either. Not bad either. I was looking for island or swamp, but I guess I'll allow an extinction event. Alright, what if I just go island time walk? Then if I draw a swamp, I can cast the ultimatum. If I don't, whatever, I'll pass. I mean, the best draw would be swamp by far, because I can cast this wonker combo. All right, can I get a swamp? Swamp! Mmm, va bene, va bene. I'll pass it back to my opponent here. I could extinction event. Should I extinction event? Should I cast shark typhoon? Did I cast Shark Typhoon? I certainly do not cast Shark Typhoon. I will play this card for odd and attack for two. Or rather attack for one. Or maybe attack for none. This way if they have a Bone Crusher Giant, they don't deal me two damage. Okay, I'll pass. You can go. Wow, showdown. You drew my vodka. I got it. Vabine, vabine, vabine. Can I get a swamp? What do you reveal? Sure. Okay. Can I get a swamp? Swamp, swamp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cycle this shark typhoon here. Ray? Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I just want, I just want to do our swamp. This way I have two draws to get the swamp. Swamp. Bump, bump, ah, bump. Eee! That's good. Game! Woo! Que figata. Imaging, imaging. What, what has happened with this car? Like, he isn't, sub he isn't. I remember Merge Ultimatum to be like, this good. What changed? I don't think I want to get the time walk because I have nothing here. I'm not gonna get the time walk. Warthog's still pretty great. Am I getting the time walk? I I don't think I'm getting the time walk. It doesn't do anything right now for me. Actually, I don't really like boring clicks as well. Huh. I'm for sure getting uh, the Kiora and the Valky. We're getting time walk, they usually don't give you time walk, I guess. They give me time walk though? It's annoying. Ah, whatever, I'll take the time walk. Gonna put the wall tree. Oh, three color decks, mana base is as good as a monocolor mana. Sure, I mean now, it's the, the fact that it's a top land, it's not great. But it doesn't scry. Alright, they give me these two cards. I'll allow it. Thank you, opponent. I honestly not thought for better. And actually, yeah, I could have definitely thought a better pile. All right, let's stick this up. 
Nice! What's better than one ultimatum? A second one! A third one! A fourth one! Fifth one! No, oh, stop it there, not the fourth one. Alright, against Gruul, a bring in three removal spell and a board of three negates. Actually, though, so that's like the plan, like the reader plan. Do we want to change some things? We want to change history. Because negate counters showed out of the skulls in this matchup. It's not just Ember Clava and the uh, Great Eng. So maybe negate is actually good and I'll keep them in. Huh? Maybe, yes, right, yes. So I'll board out what? I'll board out what? Maybe I'll board out just threats, like Shark Typhoon Boring Plex. Iron's Epiphany, maybe? Yeah, Iron's Epiphany can cut, can be cut. That's one. I think I got one negate. Two, two negate, too, too many. I think I got Shark Typhoon. Boring Plex has to keep it in. Nah, you're not Gruul. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I know, I know, I know that. Yeah, Naya is a showdown, which maybe you want to counter. I don't even know if you have time to leave up mana for a counter, so maybe that's just bad. But Negate can also counter like Bone Crusher Giant and Low Strike Beast in some ways. Seagate? No, it's it's a land. You, you don't you don't really cut land. Even if it even if you're just gonna use it as a land, you still don't cut it. Alright. Don't have double black currently, but uh, yeah, still a keep, of course. This end might be easily get run over, but I have a removal spot on two mana now. <clears throat> so hopefully not get run over. Here is Gotti, turn one. Fine. It's my swamp. I have plenty of forest. Alright, table passage. That's always good to see. Mm -mm -mm. Another Eddie. Another Eddie. One. Raw. All right, too slow, too slow. We gotta, we gotta go faster here. We gotta go faster. Now we're gonna cast a three mana venture, draw two cards. E poi dopo butta male. All right, Naya is online. And boom, take that. Take that, Pepengu. All right, you get it? You got it? All right, Magic Arena. Okay, 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 we're back. We're back. Okay. I'll uh, pick up an Arblasak here and kill the low struck beast at sight. Yeah, exactly. Binding the old gods made the ultimatum better for sure. Yeah, that's that's a good point. That's a good point, Yuri. Bro, see Zagat, Triome. I'll be casting. Certainly don't have any time to cast a Triome here. That's why you go turn one swamp, turn two island, because that's the sequencing that we would have envisioned on turn one, right, chat? Is that right? Would you have also done this? Yes, yes, you would. You could have done. I don't understand why. It doesn't save it. Like, I do the. Uh, whatever. All right. What are you doing there? Okay. Can I draw one of my four extinction events, please? In bocca al lupo. Exactly, the Alamo. You say that in Italian. Kind of weird. You don't say buona fortuna, but uh, yeah. Nope, no, no extinction event for Mangu, Babine. I'll uh, continue killing the low struck beast as um, it's in fact a beast. And I don't want to take 5 damage off of it. They're drawing a lot of cards. Yeah, I don't see myself winning this game. Basically, there's this card which is uh, probably the strongest card of, uh, <laughs> of standard right now. And uh, that is fine. Whenever you have these kind of draws, Again, this, this type of cards used to be made in a Thoreville Drain environment where the power level was through the roof. But the power level has a trim down of roughly 10 12 cards. So every Thoreville Drain cards that you see play right these days, it's always like, fuck oh, man, that Thoreville Drain. So yeah, it's fine, you know, you gotta. You basically, whenever you register a deck like this, which barely has any Thoreville Drain cards, you know that you're going to get run over in most of in some games, and that's okay. You gotta live with that, though. You don't you, you don't have to like always accept to win. Opponents literally play monotron or drain card. All right, I'll pick up a Ketra Triome. I'll play a Forest, and I'll play a Shadow Verdict. 
I need to draw the ultimatum though, because without the ultimatum, I just can't win. I, I'm not supposed to, you know, try and fight what they're doing there. Okay. Wow, that's just it? You didn't do anything after that? Pretty medium turn. Alright. I'll go binding. Oh, they might have the three one that balances it. Sure, whatever. They discarded an hinge earlier. Um okay, this is perfect here. I'll eliminate, meaning that they I also fizzled the Shepherd of the Flock. If they have another one, I still fizzle it. Alright. So we accomplished our goal here. Basically, Binding of the Old Gods destroyed a uh, Shepherd of the Flock in some sort. Good game, hopping, hopping for Lily. Oh yeah, remember, I remember your name. Okay. I just need to draw the thing. Man, kiss Keef of War and Clex. <sighs> Okay, I don't draw the ultimatum, but I draw extinction event, which is also good enough. I think it's good enough. <sighs> I'll get back Yorian and pass it back. Next turn, I have access to a lot of mana. I can go Yorian, Blink, Omen, and hopefully draw a removal spell. And now, now I need to draw better than that because removal spell won't do it. All right, it's clear my opponent doesn't have anything going on because they just use the great engine to gain two life. I think once again, Vorinclex will do straight up nothing, so I'm just playing Yorian instead. I'll blink Omen past the turn. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens later. Draw two cards. Maybe I draw the gate for... Oh, there it is. Okay, guys, we're, we're, we got there. If they want to go eliminate now, uh, that's actually important. No, no, I'll pass. I don't think Cobra does much. Children of the Skulls here is bad for me. I could have had Boring Clax, but I decided not to. All right, ability on the stack, I'll kill the Edgewilling Keeper so that my opponent will not get a chance to draw a adventure creature here. Okay, pass up, pass up, pass up. You can play Shadow School Smashing if you want, I'll allow that. Sikatsu, Sikatsu, Sikatsu! Wow, we win this game, that's insane. That's insane that we win this game, honestly. We opponent just... Opponent of this card a spell at some point of end size, that was maybe... That was maybe their defeat there. Welcome everyone, Welcome everyone to a new Legacy video. Woo, Samwa 8 Black, thank you so much for that! Welcome everybody, we're playing with uh, this wonderful Sultai deck, this is standard, best of three, and uh, we, we, we are trying to defeat a double Edgewilling -E Keeper draw thanks to Shadow Verdict, and uh, of course this beautiful, beautiful Emerged Ultimatum. Now we're casting Cure Best the Sea God, Tibalt Cosmic Imposter. Tibalt Cosmic Imposter, in case you didn't know, Exiles an Artifact. Let me do a shout out to Samuel H. Black. The, I'm guessing you played, uh, I'm guessing you played, oh wow, I can play it for two? Oh, it's, this is probably a mistake, I should have just played Eliminate. Anyway, it was still like nice enough to just do that regardless. All right, and I'll pass. <laughs> oh draft nice i i've started playing a bit of draft but there's just too many standard events going on that uh, i just have to focus more on standard for me i will go back to draft eventually i'm sure but again thank you thank you for the raid hope you guys wanna watch some constructed because that's what i'll be doing at least for the first two or three hours of the stream that's a perfect mana. I'll go Swamp. Opponents play Yorian. Whatever. 
before us go. Good morning, Sidetrack. Hello, 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 Master Ludon 23. All right, that's a nice. This is a pretty good looking forest. I just put my random, my lands are random. Sorry, I was supposed to go swamp on turn one. I was reading. I was reading Kurukits bullying me on Twitter that I lost track of what was happening. All right, I'll pick up a forest and a swamp. Bom dia, bom dia. It's, it is a little bit early. Actually, whenever, as a streamer, it's never too early to click buttons. Okay, that's a very good mirror match, looks like. Very good mirror match. I'll ba get back the Sky Nomad and pass the turn. Cultivate. I was in the play, so I'm able to get back Yorian without discarding. Clone the vision. That's a bit. I superior basics. <laughs> Do they cost the same? Basics? They might, right? Yeah, cast negate on the cultivate. Oh, migration pass for sure when you get that one. You get restoration. That's a nice one. I'll go binding the old gods on an omen. It sounds awful, but you know, they eventually just will blank it. Plus, this way I can get the, the mana I need. I'm so hoping to resolve CD restoration. We're hoping to resolve that. All right. I got Katria. Uh, opponent is already in the ultimatum range, which unfortunately can't do anything about. Outside of like bluffing. Nobody has ever won any game bluffing. Maybe they did. But you know what? You are passing. These people, by, by these people, I don't mean to disrespect you, Master Loot 23. I'm just saying arena players love to get boring clacks in their pile. So I'll pass the turn. Wow. That's so funny. That's so funny. Like, I just said that. You know, I didn't actually mean it. Sure, I'm so thankful that you cast a 6-6, no abilities, proprio la merda, but that's so funny that it, it literally happened. All right, can I show you a picture of the card boring Clex? In case you guys have never seen it before, this is the actual picture of the card boring Clex. I keep it here always because, you know, it's always like, it's important to remind you guys that this is the card that you will love and put in your deck. And if you're like, Megu, but you're also putting to your deck. Yes, I know, but that's just because... Chon idea, come tutti gli altri, ecco. That's just because of that. All right, anyway, I'm casting my Seager Restoration. Et I'll play Island and c'est toi. Hopefully this wire disruption like counter something. No! No! No, vabbè, no, cazzo, no! Porca merda! Resolved. Resolved, very sad. Very sad. And it's so bad now, because they don't have boring class in their deck, they can't put it in the pile. Actually, now, now it would be, now it would be alright, because they don't have another harmless sucked up. No, oh, they even got the red pile. Ah, I can't win. No, actually, that's not true. I can't, I can't win. I can't win. I can't win. Win is possible. What happened, Sidetrack? What happened?
No, they they took a time walk from me. Give me back time walk. Hello. What am I doing now? I know. Why did you take time walk? <laughs> White Pepper said. White Pepper said. <laughs> White Pepper said. All right. I'll go bind the old gods. Thing. On the 12. Then I can go. Extinction event. Huh? I see that. I'll go extinction event, and then I keep this like Jawar disruption up. Please don't have more ultimatum in your handy. Please no more ultimatum in your handy. No more. Let's cast time walk. Nice. I could have gone your and blank, right? It's not my busyness. Oh, wow, you can steal my you can steal my binding this way. That's sweet. Well, you're stealing my land? How dare you? How dare you? Not but for real. How dare you? Alright, I'll use that mana. Gust eliminate. <sighs> I mean as long as they don't have the the thing, the the another ultimatum. We exhausted all our threats, and now we have our own ultimatum later. This, I, this has been a fun game, by the way. Opponent, uh, Mr. Master Lou 23 is deep in the tank over there. They're thinking, how will I ever overcome this powerful opponent named Mango Zernove? In the diamond we use. How will I? How will I? Dai, Master Louvre. Vamonos. Okay. Kill my binding. Vamonos. And then you get back Big Bird and you have four mana up. You do something else or is that it? Oh, wow. You tap out? Just like that? Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I get Epiphany. You get Restoration. A boo. Yes. I'll get Cure Best Ego sucks. Maybe it doesn't that suck that much. Maybe I got Hexpest Nightmare. Yeah, I think so. so the thing is that I get an 8 8. I guess they have to kill the 8 8. But they for sure have Extinction Event or Shadow Verdict in end. I guess, but nightmare. Basically, I don't want to cast anything that I can like kill with the blink binding of the old gods blink. You see, get restoration even good here. I mean, depends if you like drawing cards or not. If you don't, then it's no good. But if you do like draw a lot of cards, like Mango Zeranova does, then it's good. Oh wow, I got Valky. That's sweet. Um, I think I pass though. I think I pass, though. I could go Valky, but it's so likely that they just have another thing. Did I make a land drop? Wait, I didn't make a land drop here. Let me make a land drop first. Yeah. You can go now. You can go now. They stole my Kithra Trium, so I'm forever unable to cast Kibalt. Uh, Shut. Remember that. Write that down, okay? Alright, so you kill my 
That was Pet Nightmare. But I still have the Cure's Best Sigurd in the deck. I can still back. Oh, that's that's cool. I didn't think I didn't think about it. Um, let's let this resolve. Let them let them target, and then I'll go woman. That's game one, so they have like lots of wrath of God. Okay, chat. Okay, all right. I'll draw them both. Hey, what do we want to do here? I think I want to go binding the old gods first. Come on, Joe. Okay. I want to go binding the old gods. And I want to kill the bird. I do not play mountain. And if you ever draw Mountain Silt Ultimatum, you want to just literally die. Actual factual death. Alright, and then I'll play Yorian Sky Nomade. Do some value past the turn. Leaving up mana for Juara Disruption. And I'm playing around there, Juara Disruption. Alright, let's see if they get another ultimatum. They do. Okay. Not that amazing now. Usually, the next ultimatums aren't backbreaking. You don't search mountain until late game? Yeah, I mean, what if you just draw it, though? No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying it's un unreasonable. I'm just saying that... There are backsides of that. My white wall? That's not, that's not actually a white wall. It's the space where I sleep, you know, I sleep there. I don't want to knock something. There's, there's, a, there's a lot of things on my wall. It's just that not literally behind or where I sleep, you know? Why not play one green red pathway as well? Yeah, that could work. It's just that you have to draw, you know? All right, I'm shuffling back them a card here. Um, mm -mm. I'll shuffle back all the runs of Epiphany. Okay, you go to Ball Seagate. Resolves. Balaget Recover. Yeah, you can play one Balaget Recover. Yeah, sure, for sure. All right, that's, that's a strong play. No, you never want to leave them a time walk. Or rather, not never, but you don't know their hands. They could have another good card, you know? This is, a, this is a long game, so we have to just take it slow. Don't use our resources all of that quickly. Also, what am I doing isn't necessarily correct. It depends also a lot on like my read and uh, what they actually have to have. You know, like last turn I could have done more impressive stuff. Instead, I just uh, decided to just ramp a bit, forbid them to ramp a bit, put the threats into play, draw some extra card. I'm looking mainly to draw the gate. I was hoping to find on the gate there. All right, I passed. I play Omen. If they do wire disruption, it I'll live with that. All right, binding. I'm unlikely to. Alura, what do we do? What do we do now? Mm. I've made. I have at my disposal. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve mana. It's not that many. And they don't have red man, unfortunately. My opponent stole it. Stole it for me. Yeah, I think I'll begin with an Omen of the Sea. Just pretend Boring Flex isn't here. Just pretend that. This is game one. They have Heartless Act. Trading six mana for two is definitely not 
the recipe for the victory. Uh, actually, don't mind drawing uh, Arkless Act, maybe. I think I cast this Alron's Epiphany. They negate this, I'll, I'll live with that. Alright, I bought them both. This is gonna be a long term, a, a, a long game. And now I'm hoping that the Zalaran's Epiphany can attack the ball to death. Wow, it resolved. I never knew the saw is. Alright, uh, what if I just play Balki now? Yeah, I will. It's just it's just so unlikely that they get to cast this. I basically need to like go Kuyor as the Seagull to third chapter. To re re-steal their Ketra Triumph, which is mine. So it's basically impossible, so might as well just cast it. And also, I get to know if they have something like a Shark Typhoon or like a way. Alright, so they have what? Fishing Event, Shark Typhoon, Balagat Recovery. Sure. So I get to my turn here. All my creatures will get Death Touch, which is um, not stupid. Who's winning right now? Uh, it isn't clear. It isn't clear. Because my opponent does not have an answer to Boring Clex, which I could cast and attack with. But I don't think that would uh, make a big deal, right? What I can do actually is casting our Shark Typhoon now. Oh, huh, yeah, I think I'm gonna cast Shark Typhoon here. <laughs> See? Oh, they can go Balagad, Recovery, get back, um, Binding the Old Gods. I guess if they do that, they don't do other stuff. So I think I'm going to cast Shark Typhoon here. I don't want to cast Boring Clex until they cast this extinction event. Then I go to combat. And I'll attack with, um, let me think. I can attack with all at Tibalt. Is where my opponent cannot save their Tibalt with Shark Typhoon, and I don't have to use the Artless Act on a Shark Token. And my creature, they're at Death Touch, so if they cast a larger shark to just eat one of my things, I would have let it happen. So yeah, the, I basically used my Arlorin's Epiphany to kill their Tibalt. Which isn't impressive, but I think it's okay. Right, so now, what do we do? I don't want to cast ca I don't want to cast any creature because they have this Heartless Act, um, Extinction Event. So I'll cast a Cultivate. I believe I barely have enough basics left. Tiki Tiki Rev. Thank you so much, Tiki Rev. Welcome, welcome to the stream. You're having a good day over here. We're playing a very long game one, where... Might be slightly behind here. They were definitely able to... Yeah, I mean, it was just basically like a mirror match. We cast the same cards. Thank you, thank you for the third month. You became an espresso badge. Alright, Binding the Old Gods, you cast. They just drew that, which makes my Shark Typhoon very bad, of course. Yeah, I guess I'm going to cast this Drew Wire Disruption. Just to make a 2-2 two -two Shark. Make them cast uh, the sweeper. Yeah, and move on. I think I'm losing this game because they stole Ketra Triumph. That was such a smart play that I didn't, that I didn't even see. Them stealing my Ketra Triumph just shut off Valky forever. Oh wow, they cast this removal spell. Interesting. They don't cast Shadow Verdict. That means that my Boring Clex could stick around, maybe. All right. Okay, so yeah, they do the thing. And I'll pass. When they try to kill one of my omen, I'll uh, uh, sacrifice it to scry. But yeah, I'm definitely behind here. 
definitely behind. All right, all right, that was a good try. I'm not gonna try and upkeep. I have lots of lots of stuff to do. Gruel, yeah, gruel is good. I'm not really the best uh, gruel play uh, streamer though. I don't really basically ever play gruel, but I'm sure you can find some gold content on the internet, especially on Channel Fireball Pro. I believe uh, Yui wrote uh, that guy for it recently. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to play Boring Clex and Attack. Does that sound? Sounds awful, probably. They have Artless sucked, and I feel like a fool, but that's my life. Alright, Poon is on 14. That's not the worst. I'll probably just go ahead and cast this uh, Ketra, because Kyora's best the Sea God. Yeah. If they have another extinction event, I'll pack it up. I think I'm too behind. Alright, I get to tap their Yorian. Doesn't do much. I think I can maybe steal, uh, I don't know, can steal something good? Not sure. I guess I can go Balagar Recovery for Extinction Event. I mean, that way I can steal Yorion, maybe. Actually, yeah. Oh, they just have no one in hand. Hmm, that'd be it. Please start. You can check my list at exclamation mark deck. Or looking at the top left side. No, top right. Top right side. Two red sources. That's not that's not how I'm winning this game though. If you look closely at the hands of the two players, I believe that the mistake that we made in this game was when I had a turn to like kind of do like a lot of good stuff, and instead all I did was uh, all I did was like very marginal. Like I just took a turn off to just do something very 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 small. All right. I think I'll pause in up uh, in upkeep. How are the timers looking? That's a good question. I'm slightly behind here. I'm just looking if I see an ultimatum, but I don't even know what can I resolve here. I uh, kill it. Otherwise, they would blink their permanence twice. Not that it makes a big difference, but... While it might seem that our opponent just easily outplayed us this game, and that's probably the right thing to say, I also believe that my opponent just did the, the thing first, the ultimatum first, and that's just very hard to, very, very hard to overcome here. Alright, good game, opponent. Well played. Definitely well played, Master Lu 23. Okay. All right, so these are like all the good cards against the bad cards. I'm clear if I want to leave some answers to something. I don't know, I'll go to the bathroom and be back in a minute and then we play the game too. All right, that's a good end. I'll go. I'll go turn one Jawari. This way, this way. If I draw, I'm not sure. Maybe it was still better to. Hmm. Hmm. Unsure what was the right play. Anyway, all, all good here. Hopefully the cultivate resolves. 
And it does. Gonna get... Um... Gonna get Island. Forest. I'm missing Swamp this way. But that's fine, right? My deck doesn't have that many... That many Swamps past sideboard. How does he fare versus Tempo? You mean, is it Tempo? It's probably not great, but I don't really think that deck is very good. So I often, you can go exclamation mark deck and check my win rate against this a tempo. I'm not exactly sure. Wow, they just casted Binding of the Odd Gods like that. That means that they don't have lands, right? That means that for sure. Oh, I'm just going to cast Bind. All right, what do we kill here? Do I kill the Binding of the Old Gods or Wolf Willow Haven? Maybe I kill the Wolf Willow Haven here. Oh, no, no, no. I spent time. See, I kill Wolf Willow Haven is better. Yeah. It's the same with the difference that this gives them the mine immediately. Yorin? No, I can't cast Yorin. Or I'm on a short. Plus, their deck doesn't play Yorian. Can I try it? Yeah. Ketra, yeah. Oh, definitely. Like, the, the thing with the Ketra is true, but, like, if they don't have a land, which I think they don't have a land if they make a play like this, they can't cast another Binding this way. All right. I'm gonna fetch Zagat, though. I think... I think I'm not playing around... Uh, Oh, Nero, Nero, Verde. I'm not playing around this. I just played this. If they have Dispute, I'll cast it on here. If they don't have Dispute, I'll manage to resolve the ultimatum this way. Or are they bluffing me? I think I keep on baiting with another... With another one. Because this way I can go to where it is Roshan tapped. And then Seeker Restoration negate. If they go Dispute, that's fine. It's important to know that I've used both of my time both of my time walk I've used, okay? And they can't cast their ultimatum. This way next turn I can cast the ultimatum with negate backup. If I'm not mistaken, which I think I don't, I don't, I'm not, so. Alright. Vorinclex here shuts off my Sagas. And my Tibalt. What am I getting with this Emerged Ultimatum? I'm getting, uh, Seeger Restoration, Shark Typhoon. Man, I boarded out... All the answers to Warren Clex. I boarded out all the answers to Warren Clex chat. Literally every single one of them. Not even joking. All right. How much loyalty does Tibalt come into play with? Three. Three, right? Two? Mm -hmm. I cast Valky. You think they're Yorian? Now pause the turn. Now I've negate for their Aurons Epiphany, which you're probably gonna cast. Then I can cycle Shark Typhoon block Warren Clex and win the game that way. I will have to revisit my sideboard after this game. Alright, I just 
They just uh, did that. Okay, sure. Okay, I'll keep these all. I'll pass here. I can triple block the Boring Clex as well, turning Valky into Yorian. Could have played Seeker Restoration as a land, that was a reasonable play. But I'd rather do what I did here. I think I'm in an exclamation mark lose game. But, you know, everything is still open here. Alright, I'll go negate. Alright, they don't have their own negate, sure. They're attacking. Interesting. Can we get 5 5? Or I can just, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna turn uh, Valky into, into the thing here. And triple block it. So they'll kill Valky, they get back Yorian, and uh, kill one of my birds. They get back Yorian, they pass, I play Omen. I don't have access to my Yorian yet. I can do it now. I don't want to draw Dispute, I think it's too late. I'll draw the land though. I need to hit land drops. Play land. Attack for one. How much mana do I have right now? 3, 6, 9, 10. So I can spend... You know what? I'm just gonna cast a Seeker Restoration. And I'll pass the turn. I decided this is the better route. Alright, this is a good game. I'll repeat it. Alright. So we won game two on behalf of our uh just us being on the play with a very good hand. Okay. Now we have to um decide if we need any answer to the six six or Shark Typhoon is enough. Alright, I'll Delete all the message that say that what I'm doing is boring. If you guys believe that this is boring, you can leave. The door is open and there's no need to announce the departure from an open stream. Heartless Act can kill a shark token. I will bring in two Heartless Act. But I have to understand what to cut. It could just be Cultivate, since I'm on the draw. No. I, yeah, I guess answer for the Cura token is, is true. Maybe maybe I should have played 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that, that's true. Just play 1-1. One, one. All right. And real good. I'm happy about this hand. I'm trying Omen of the Seas always busted in decks with you are in. Because it basically turns your cantrip into even more potential. And that cantrip is already great. And now it's just data is even more potential. I'm gonna I'm gonna mystical dispute their their negate here. They are um their omen of the sea easily. The Resolve a Cultivate, fine. But yeah, as I said, I believe that Omen of the Sea is super powerful. We just stick around. Mirror matches? I mean, mirror matches of mid-range is uh, my my career. My, I made, as, a, as, as Brad Nelson says, I made my career over mid-range mirror matches. I got force. Yeah, I already have enough black sources here. I just need more flow here. I played. Uh, I th I thought about it, and in 2020, I played Uro literally in every format. It was legal. Every every high tournament, it was legal. But worlds, I played Uro every single time. This is my wheelhouse. I play these kind of decks. All right. What are you doing? Another cultivate? Wolf Willow Haven. Babina. I'm not gonna fight over Wolf Willow Haven. It's just, just one mana. 
It's okay. Banu Ura 555. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That was a command. All right. I'll, um... I don't want to cast the Omen here. I don't have that much time. Oops, I made a mistake. I'm, un I'm unable to cast Ultimatum. Which might seem like a small thing now, but it makes so that my opponent can tap out this turn. Because they know that I can't cast Ultimatum. Alright, they suspend the All Runs Epiphany. I guess that's the reason why I won the previous game. Because I cast two All Runs Epiphany super, super early. That's definitely, that, that does make the difference. You remember the day I added this? I don't remember. What was that about title? Was it when I was playing it in Historic? I remember going on the 19-1 run with Sultai. But I, I don't remember exactly. I don't remember exactly when I did it. It was that one, yeah. I honestly predicted that would have been Ura in Historic on uh, December. Sorry, on in October, right? That's what I said. But it ended up lasting way longer than that. Which... Which was very, it's very good because it meant that the community managed to, um, I mean, I guess it only mattered that all the most important persons never complained about it. All right. Um, mm -mm. Sure. They have only one mana up. That's weird. Very weird. I have the ext uh, Heartless Act at the bottom of my deck. <laughs> That's funny. All right. I'll make a 5-5 five five here. A time walk. What do I get? Time walk, Valky, and draw a million. Yeah. I think Koma isn't a Stardard playable card. It might be good against Demir Rogues if Demir Rogues boards out Heartless Act. Wow, they literally got me these. Wow, they got me these two cards. I beg that's your opponent. Thank you. You need to. Come across seven. So seven is a lot of. Seven is a lot of mana. Ma tipo tanto, 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 tanto mana. I think Valky is uh, properly rated. A reasonable two drop, and it's a just a, a good hit. Off of the ultimatum. Why would you say it's overrated? Alura, I don't have red mana to cast my Valky because my deck is unable to do such uh, an evolved thing. You would think that my deck would be able to do such a thing, but it is not. And so what I have to do is begin with the duress, because I want to know what's up over here. The, the problem with Allora, Mystical Dispute, which they can't use. Allora, va bene, you can keep that one. They have a time walk over here, huh? I need the negate. I think I can lose this game. I think I can lose this game. And the fact that I can lose this game kind of, kind of annoys me a little bit. If my opponent doesn't draw anything nasty, maybe we can win? Unsure. I have to leave up 5 mana to go negate, pay for the dispute, or maybe 2 negates. I'll pass the turn here. I definitely could consider adding a mountain. It is awful if you draw it in your opening hand and you have to play it, because it means that you can't cast an ultimatum on turn 7, or whatever, on 7 lands. But, in other scenarios, it could happen. 
I, I've resolved a, a Seagate Restoration, that is why I have so many cards in it, and I'm not going to discard. Seagate Restoration gives you no limit in end size. Alright, I'll take 12, which is a lot. Very much. You can put Pathways, but then the Cultivate might, 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 like in the super long game, they might miss you land. Which, I mean, you can put one Pathway. Okay, fine. Wow, that's weird. Why would you do that? Okay. Remember, if Valky becomes a copy of your, then it's not that it triggers the ATB. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, still have enough basics. Yeah, 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 but that, it happens that you run out of basics. You can make a Urim block. I would never do so. They have uh, uh, the thing here. The, the, the what's it called? The uh, Aaron's Epiphany. I have to leave up the counters. I would never make a copy and spend all my mana. Or, I mean, Yuri. So what are you doing? You make a tutu? <laughs> make a tutu. So remember, Coma shuts off the ever ability, right? Its ability can't be activated this turn, so I can't make a copy of, of Yuri in this turn because of Coma. E que faccio end of turn? I'll play an Omen of the Sea. I have five minutes left, by the way. They have how much? Nine. And slowly. What am I looking for? Uh, a time walk? I think I have one time walk. Seeger Restoration. Um, I mean, this is not bad. But I think I'll bottom it. Okay. Then I will uh, scry. I don't think I want more negates. And I use this cling. And how do I use this cling with? I think I'm just gaining life. Can I actually gain life? I probably don't have any creatures. No. All right. I'll just all right, eat a thing then. No, they have coma to tap my creatures. So technically we aren't dead yet. I will untap with a lot of mana, lots of cards in hand. I can even resolve the ultimatum, which I don't have Warren Clex in my deck. So I can't go for Boring Clex, Kalma Time Walk. Uh, sorry, Boring Clex, Cure Best of Seagull Time Walk, which would be very good if I had Boring Clex in my deck. But still, I'm in a very good shape right now. All right, draw a card. Door disruption doesn't do much. Okay, you make a serpent. I'll uh, untap. Artless sucked. That's not bad. All right, let's move to combat, and then I'll hold full control. Now let's see how you top my creatures. I'll hold full control because I might attack and turn the Valky into a Yorian. So they have to tap. I have to tap creatures here. All right, so you tap my Valky. I'll let it go. It's fine. Okay. Looks like we are going to a main phase. I'll remove the full control. And now, let's see if they tap another 5-5. If they do, I'll be able to kill Koma here. Because I can go Binding the Old Gods, kill Koma, they sacrifice one Serpent, Heartless Act, because they have no more Serpent left. If they let me attack, it's going to be interesting. This Koma does not have Trample. So we can just leave one bird back. I guess I can tap the bird, if needed. <laughs> this is not easy. Okay, I have 3, say 9, 10 mana. A merged ultimatum can go get me what? Can go get me. Heartless Act. Ray. Um, yeah, I think I'll knock them down at two so that my birds are lethal later. Getting Shard Tefuna isn't usually very good. So I'll go Island here, and then I'll cast the Ultimatum. They cast Dispute, I'll dispute their Dispute, and then I'm, st I'm still up for Negate on their Alleran's Epiphany. This might be wrong, though. But I'll cast the Ultimatum here. They cast Dispute almost under... Per Actually, might not be they might not cast Dispute, but it's fine if they don't. 
I have four minutes left. All right, I have to cast this pute. I don't want to pay three because I have plenty of uh, uh, mana to toy with. Sorry, plenty of cards in hand to toy with, so I don't, I don't mind wasting a card in exchange of two mana here. All right, so the cards I'm getting are uh, Cure Best of Seagull because that makes an 8-8 eight, eight that cannot be tapped. Time Walk because that's just the nuts. And the... Um, mm, do the time walk, and then I can get either a removal spell or I can get Valky. Valky is also pretty great because it exiles. Yeah, I'll get Valky. All right. Yeah, you cannot get Binding of the Old Gods off of the ultimatum. Yeah, I played two time walks. Yeah, I've seen some lists with one, and I think that like, it's fine to board out one time walk, but. In this matchup, you definitely need a second one. Alright, here my opponent. I mean... Okay, sure. No, they give me the time walk? No way. Oh, this is a good game. Very good game. This is definitely a good game. Boring Plex? I don't play Boring Plex. I don't play Boring Plex. I, I, I board it out often, but... Against aggro, it might be important because against aggro, you kind of need a pile to combo. But against control, I don't like it. But this was a good game. I mean, it was a long one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't. I don't know. Yep. I have black mana, but that's no biggies. I guess I do have it, but just low. One oh one catcher triumph. Literally my handy. Yeah, my opponent does not play rogues. They play a Mali and 2-5 deck. Maybe they boss trickery. No guys, I'd rather I'd rather just play the ladder. I have a dream of one day becoming a mythic gamer on Magic the Gathering Arena. And I cannot fulfill the dream if I keep on practicing against my teammates or against chat. You know, usually in the afternoon I play some practice game against my teammates. So, I have to play in the ladder in the morning. Alright, I'll get a swamp and I draw a card. Ooh, that's a sweet, sweet forest. Oh, is this a mirror match? No, it's not. They play 60 cards. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Interesting, interesting. What if I just play an island tapped? Huh? I'm gonna see that I... That way I can guarantee the binding next turn. Hello, Relieve. It's okay, Ryan's Bliss. Yeah, there was a time where I couldn't cast the Tibalt because my opponent stole the... stole the Catcher Trium. Oh, wow. That's the God of Lies. Oh, my. In the mirror match, you really want to hold the, the God of Lies until either you are cast it or either I return Yorian. Otherwise, it's just a nice... It's just a nice um, Coral Merfolk. And Coral Merfolk is no bueno. Alright, let's go get Swamp Island. Swamp for sure. Okay, Island 2, Ray? Or I guess, no, I guess. Why not play Ugin? I decide to draw a line on how many cards that cost a million in my deck to put, and Ugin is out of that line. Out of, after a bit, you can't play too many expensive cards. Ooh, Elspeth Nightmare. That's sweet. Alright, am I able to cast Ultimatum the turn after? Sure, I am. So I'll play this Binding the Old Gods, which will guarantee me the Ultimatum. Next, well, what am I talking about? Sorry, that's not even true. Alright, I'll play, I'll play Elspeth Nightmare then. <laughs> then I get back Yorian, I guess. Looking over Boring Clax. Now I just like to get cards that you can pick up off the ultimatum. It's not great to just have cards that you can't take off the ultimatum outside of the ultimatum. That's why I don't like Calma mainly. Alright, I go bind the old gods, that's that's sweet. What do I draw? That's if they make a land they make a land drop. They make a land drop, interesting. Um unfortunately the mana base cannot afford me I can't I can't take a um, Sorry, I can't cast the ultimatum here with the with this following mana base. Which might be a mistake. You know, I may just made a mistake along the way, probably. No, I mean, it's totally fine to play Ugin. Like, it's not bad. I think it's good. You know, if you could have got it off of your ultimatum, it would have been good. 
like, you know, Janice's ultimatum decks play Ugin. But the fact that you can't get Ugin with your emerged ultimatum just makes it not really very good. With all the real stats against rogues. I don't know. I don't know, I've never played against rogues. I wish, I wish to play against rogues one day. Alright, you can shuffle back the God of Lies. And I'll hold, let me hold full control. Man, if you got eat okay, Stuffin has clearly not watched my stream. Which you should, Stuffin. You should watch Mango stream regularly, even as you play against me. I don't mind. Uh, do not take Vorinclex whenever your opponent is mana up. Don't do it. My popular merda, Vorinclex. Like, I can't... Alright. Mm, anyway, okay. They sequence them in this way. Interesting. Very interesting. Now, we either kill the 6 6 haste Colossal Dreadmaw, or we take 6 and then go Extinction Event. I think that is better. Because I can't cast Ultimatum right now, even if I untap, unless I draw Forest. So I think it's just unlikely that that, ha that, ha that, that happens. So I prefer just doing this way. Noobs, I don't believe in numbers. I don't believe in numbers. In the numbers that you just said. I only believe... Oh, Kamadoske would have drawn the force. I only believe in the... In the actual factual facts that I see with my eyes. I'm like St. Thomas. You know the story of St. Thomas? You might know it. That's not a big thing to miss, but... Basically, I don't believe um, that the some people on the ladder play some games and that is the truth or that some people on the scg circuit play some games and that is the truth okay uh i'll play my merge ultimatum they can steal whatever i take here it's just interesting eh maybe i shouldn't go ultimatum here let me think what do I take with ultimatum? I take the draw five, I take a time walk, and I take your best sea god. Yeah, I guess that is fine. That is fine, right? Yeah, that is fine. And if they have a counter for this, sure. What do they steal? Oh, like a forest, it doesn't matter, right? You're in Blink Destroy, but then if they top deck ultimatum, I can't lose the game, right? Whereas I want to pull the trigger and do this. And I just t I take all cards that you can't really steal right now. Because like, sure, you can steal another Cure's Best to Sea God, but that's not going to be very impressive. That's fine, nubs. That's that's fine. Like, I don't, I don't mean to disrespect those datas. I just generally just prefer to practice myself and have an opinion rather than. Uh... All right, you didn't draw an tap land. Do it. Choose a... Could have been better, but that's fine. I'll just play a temple of tapped. Uh, sorry, a tapped thing. Now you can take control of a permanent of mine. That's fine. I'll allow it. And you killed that thing. All right, <laughs> sure. Okay. I'm left with not that much, but that's fine. I'll go ahead and play Omen. Hmm. You want to play your in blank? Yeah, right. It want to. I guess I can cycle this triumph over there. So I'm just playing this as a forest and pass. Also, wouldn't mind drawing like. I mean, actually, just anything. Okay, I draw Baki. Now there is a triumph here. All right, Ho opponent will not steal my triumph this time around. Visionaria. Okay. 
I'm very happy my opponent hasn't drawn another ultimatum, or this would have been a harder game for sure. It, bo, I'll just eliminate that. Is he a chariot? Uh, I don't like it. It's just not. I, I just I I just think that it's just simply not very good card. Like uh, it's not a spet item. No, if I go to Bal, they can steal it. So let's not go to Bal. Sorry. All right. Um, what do we do instead? I can um, temple for. I can uh, no spet. Maybe cultivate first. All right. Let's do that. So I'll go cultivate first. No, 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 it's not like a chance ultimatum. You don't, they don't go to your hand if you decline. If you decline, uh, that, that, I guess. I guess, I guess. All right. Temple of Mystery. And what do we find? A, okay, I found nothing. A, um, I'm going to cycle. Maybe I find a binding of the old gods or a negate. Or Omen of the Sea. Okay, I guess I'll pass. You can steal my Yorion. Oh, you steal my Ketra Trium. Porca merda. Man, I didn't see this. It just literally happened last match and I didn't see this now? Que coyote. Alright, I mean, not that I could have done anything about it. Just saying that I just didn't see it. But sure, I mean, there's no, I mean, if I cast Baki, they just steal it, so there's no way I can do that. All right, you drew that. Ay, 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 are we, is, that, is my opponent turning this game and get around? It's not sniping, that's the right play. All right, um... Okay. How can you guys find this game boring? This is such a good game. All right, you want to? I think I'm gonna just kill it a response here, so you don't cast it. All right, I wouldn't mind drawing a time walk here. That's a good draw. Allora, how much money do I have here? Let me count. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. I have 13 mana. I'm gonna cast Ultimatum first. I even have Jaguar Disruption if they have Negate. For sure, we get Time Walk. Then I get Seeker Restoration. Then I get Valky, that's my pile. Sure, right? What does Valky even do? Oh, but Bela, it's not that bad. I guess I can take a... No, I don't. I guess I can take a... Shark Typhoon? No, no. Let me take Shark Typhoon. Maybe. Maybe Shark Typhoon is better. Because, yeah, I can't really protect the Valkyries with his 8-8 eight eight right now. You guys want to take Boring Clucks here? And just go for the Emblem of Tibalt? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe maybe here Boring Plex was actually the right pile. Oh, wow. So weird that they gave me these two cards. Literally the nuts. Oh, but that's GG opponent. That's GG. El GG. GG. Alright, I'll go binding. Kikiora. I'm killing the, 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 the ball with the birds. I don't do anything because I don't want to tap out. On top draw, second chapter. Attack the bolt. Remember that I can't cast the bolt, okay? Because I don't have red mana. I don't think it's a big deal, but just saying. 
All right, so I have uh, how much money do I have left? Trece, nove, dodici, twelve mana. I can go. I'll spend nightmare. Omen of the sea. Time walk. After all, look at your hand. Uh, I'll play Extinction Event. Or even. I'll play Boring Clax. We play Lend. I think I'll play Valky just to attack with. Hmm. I'll probably just kill it with this card, so I guess it doesn't matter. All right, and then I'll pass. I could have had a a lot of lines once again, you know. Really, a lot of lines. And I'm not saying that what I choose is right. Probably isn't since, you know, I'm not winning by that much. So there must have been some better lines along the way. Hmm, attack here. I'm wondering whether I should cycle this Shark Typhoon or cast it. I think I'll cycle it. Any idea why sometimes Saga doesn't work? Maybe maybe they don't like you. Maybe the Saga don't like you. Sometimes. Alright, GG. Okay, so I'll bring in all my cards. Probably no clings. Yeah, this is our sideboard. I'll go to the bathroom and be back in a second. Let's go. Alright, opponent goes first. My hand is... Uh... Uh... You, you only live once, right? How's that against aggro? I didn't really have trouble against aggro. I feel like, um, as long as we draw another land reasonably soon, with the omens I can find more lands, and this end is very good. Cultivate. Nice. I guess you live twice. That's true, Sipietza. You do live twice. Oh, Lander Visionary. Okay, that's a good card. That's a good card, especially <laughs> with my list. There's <laughs> no removal spell for this. I guess I have a Binding Guild God. Put this card in my cube. If they go dispute, I'll definitely dispute their dispute. Imagine this hand being a one lander. Just imagine keeping one landers and then flooding out on turn four. And then have so many lands that you even have one in hand. All right, uh, now uh, we have a few plays. But I think the best of the best of them all is just to pass. I mean, this could also be Behold the Multiverse. It's probably not that, but it could be. Gotta represent that list with a counter. Uh, 
Uh, sure, I'll draw both of these cards. I don't mind drawing the Swamp. I still don't want to miss a land drop. Finding the old gods here is very good. Makes me get uh, the Ketra Triumph. And if a player wants to bind the old gods, the binding the old gods, I'm okay with that. All right, so I'll get back Yorian Sky Nomad. Yeah. And then I think I'm going to just play this tapped. Just to have guaranteed a Yorian plus uh, Negate up next turn. Okay. I'll go Yorian, draw my million card, and this is why you play Yorian, by the way. I mean, not that you need a, a confirmation, but in case somebody did. Yeah, it just turns your omen in. Turns your omen into such a great card, honestly. All right, now I'm not going to get land, because I have enough. I think I don't want the Mystical Dispute as well. I already have the Negates. Plus, I play four. I can just also always redraw it. No, I'm not a big fan of Tome. It's just a slow card. And now there's like Binding the Old Gods, which I can get rid of it pretty easily. I don't know, never, never been a fan of Tome, like honestly, ever. Since it was uh, in Standard. Maybe I was playing at some point, but... Uh... Alright, GG. The key to this mirror match is not have enough. Like, uh, my opponent had... Um, uh, be a heartless act. Yeah, sure, I also had it, but basically, what I, what I what I want this interactive spell to be like, I don't want the removal spell. I want to have dead cards in my hand. And again, the hand that I kept was obviously very risky, but it had the best cards, which are the uh, omens. The omens are just amazing, just amazing. No other words. The tomes are amazing. Sorry, the tomes, the omens. Half time streamer, yeah, is that yeah, you know, off time streamer and half time content creator for Channel Farball, and half time MPO player, and uh, a full time Q player. Oh yeah, Magic sixteen hours a day, but on stream only four. How is Gato today? Gato has uh, it's just now it's just always staying in the same box. It's just a box. Or like, I don't know, a month or something. Cat is just going in the same box. I think he likes it. Alright, I can cast Valky, but I'd rather, I'd rather pass it back, I think. Yep, I'll pass it back. Why do I take Vortex out in the mirror? Just imagine that Vortex is this card. I lost a Dreadmaw. Okay. I mean, I say that joking, but I'm actually, I actually mean it. I play it only because it could be game changer sometimes to have one of in your deck. But I'm basically sideboarding out every matchup. Which might make you ask, and why do you have it in your main deck? It's not always how it goes. Sometimes you have uh, bad cards in the main deck. Because they might have a good spot at some point, and you don't mind sideboarding out because the sideboard is versatile and will, uh, you know, fix your matchups in different in areas. Is Sharky Sharky ambushing uh, Edgy? Is that happening? Is that really happening? It looks like it. My opponent will definitely regret this. Now, what do they have? Oh wow, okay, sure. Ha, <laughs> lol. Lul, mage. Lul. Lul. Orcus is good against uh, Skulls. Sure. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's true. It's just that's not my priority to be good against Skulls. Oh look, I, I have greens. I get, I get, I gotta get black. That's bad. That's good. Right. Isola, island. Yeah, black.
Next turn is coming, huh? Next turn is coming. What's my opinion on Replicator Ring? I don't know what that card is, so no opinion. No opinion. But that looks like a good name, Replicating Ring. I do Cyber versus Rouge. Hmm. I haven't played against Rouge in a while. I remember there was a stream this week where I played against it like for four times in a row. And I like I lost every time, or something like that. And at the end I was sideboarding in uh, in, uh, in a way. <laughs> you you can go on untapped, and for sure there is the way I sideboarded. Alright, what if I just attack here? I think I can win this race. Um Exclamation mark on top, you can check how I sideboard in every matchup. I was cutting the expensive cards and I was bringing in the cheap cards, but I, I kept on losing. Goose, goose Stray Combo, Soul type as The problem with Goose is that it dies to Bone Crusher. And it's just not very good if you don't draw the other piece. Right? Maybe this turn I wasn't supposed to. Can I draw Binding? Or you know what? Ultimatum. Hmm! El Tifon! El Tifon. I don't know if Rogues is still strong. You know, Rogues is strong against me, but might not be strong at, at all in these matchups. Allura, I can eat her. Pass. Huh? How's, how's that sound? You pass here. You like attacking? You like to attack here. Hmm, interesting line. That's actually not a bad idea. Let's say they double block, I'm happy because they traded a, a, a common from Ixalan for two rares from Turnable Drain. Actually a rare and an uncommon for Turnable Drain. That's a good trade. And uh, if they take it, they die to my shark. Yeah. I guess though, this way I can keep the... Shieldown of the Skulls in check. Maybe, yeah, no, it's fine. I don't know about my shark. If they double block, it's risky too, because I can never remove a spell and yeah, blow you out, so you probably take it and then die to my shark. I mean, double blocking it's fine. Oh wow, they take it. Do I die to Ember Clava? They don't have double red. Yeah, what article do you like the most, uh, Luck Vamp? Yeah, there's so much content on CFB these days, really. I personally just, yeah, I'm just doing so much. You can check the articles here. Molo the Sky Cleave. Did I to stomp? Why? Am I not allowed to block? Bonjour, no Anubi. Not a lot of limited though? Hmm, could be. Alright, so they do that. Are you fighting with my boring clex? Am I still dying to stomp? No, but no. So I'll make a 5 5 here to kill them. Is there any merit to not make a 5-5? Five, five? No, I'll make a 5-5. Five, five. Lock the Shepard, and I don't die to anything, right? But they're gonna have Blizzard Brawl. They still die if they have Blizzard Brawl, though. Actually, they are didn't. So here is 9 damage. I'd go down to 3 and then stomp me down to 1, so should be good here. Sure. All right. Good game, Boring Clex. Good game, Boring Clex. After all that trash talk to poor Boring Clex, it got me. It got me the W. Also, I want to give a round of applause also to my chat. Because I was going to pass this turn. Instead, chat made me attack. Which won the game. Like, do you see the difference between, like, playing well and clicking buttons? Like, 
by by making this attack, I won the game. You know, I wouldn't have done this attack, maybe. But Chad maybe evaluated, and I and I ended up deciding that it was a good thing, and I won the game because of that. So, it is like the the difference between winning a game or losing a game is so small. It's just like that. Just like that. All right. Um, three removal spell, and I usually board out one negate, one Alarn's Epiphany. What's the other card I was boarding out? <laughs> you're, you're busy eating glue? What does that mean? <laughs> I sat board out like this. Shark the Funis wasn't that bad, though. I'm not sure about negate. I still have to, like... Feel it if it's good or not in this matchup. Because right now I don't think it is. Hello, C. Delio. How is it going today? I believe we're still undefeated today. Or do we get defeated? Oh, I certainly got defeated against an Agra deck, a Boros deck. A Boros deck defeated me today. But other than that, I think we won the two mirror match. How did it go today? 3 1 today. We win the two mirrors. I lost against Boris and I beat Naya. And now I'm up a game against Naya. What's my history against Rogues? I played once against Rogues. See, if you go here, you can see how I sideboarded. If you go to my untapped.gg account, you can see everything for real. You can see how I sideboarded. It's all free up there. This is how I sideboarded. I mean, my different my list was different back then. I had um, Bangalore Flora, Hedra, Wolf Widowhaven. Yeah, at the end I was sideboarding like this. I was sideboarding out the Merge Ultimatum and some expensive cards. I'm not sure how what would I do here, honestly. Yeah, cultivate probably probably is the card I need to cut. You're right, hoping for a Lily. Yeah, maybe maybe one or two cultivate I should cut. I cut cultivate in the mirror match earlier. A couple of them. Seven fever Mario. Let's go. Yeah, no no. Valky Valky on turn two, if you don't have another play, you just cast it. And then block whatever. It's not bad. Like, that's the deal with Valky. Sometimes, just, like, a Coral Merfolk that trades with, you know, whatever. It's good. Is my connection dead? No, right? Hello, Australia. How's it going over there? How's going your summer? Actually, is it still summer? How does it, how does it work? I know that when we, got, when we have winter, you have summer. But what about now? Is it, still, is it still winter? I have no idea. What day is it today? What month it is? What year it is? It's always summer. Kick cats. Always summer. That's nice. I can't wait for summer. That's the best season. Where am I? No, no, it's February. Pretty sure. All right. We got it. Woo! Huh. So you are the Control King opponent, I'll show you. I'll show you who's the Control King. I'll show you, Johnny. No sum no mask is in the summer? Yeah, basically no like we were we we were on like zero cases for a while too. It was crazy. Because, you know, we just had like the super hard lockdown for three months or something and uh but then like people started traveling here and there out of the out of the country and at the end at the end it came back but yeah summer was basically was basically like australia or whatever new zealand i think a joe wire disruption the omen if they get me with a time with a cultivate sure but Assertive dominance uh, is, isn't very powerful. 
isn't a very powerful threat, isn't a very powerful play. The, the thing is that I think it's much easier to have zero cases in countries like, you know, New Zealand or Australia where you're on an island and you don't really have uh, the European community that frees the traveling and etc. I think it's much, I think it's just, again, most of the, most of the country that did the hard lockdown this summer were on like very little cases. But the problem is that the other countries that didn't do the hard lockdown didn't do that. Didn't do the, the hard lockdown were still like leaving people around. And then, uh, you know, and then there was like the comeback. If I visit Italy, what's the first kind of food I should try? It depends where you are, as always. The north or the south. Wow, it is my can most say. Depends where you are. If you're in Rome, I suggest you to take uh, Carbonara. Carbonara in Rome is tier one. Carbonara as as a main dish and this dessert, zuppa inglese. This type of dessert is I don't know. I actually don't see that very often around. It's so good. All right, my opponent is threatening me. So, mania questo. Yeah, Rome is definitely a beautiful city. All right, play Colossal Dreadmaw. They don't kill it. Nice. Now, they can't go you're in blank because nothing is going to happen, but I can go to Maiden. Nice. All right. Yeah, that's the merged ultimatum. I'll go wash my hands. I'll be back in a sec. In Sicily? Yeah, I've never... I've only been in Sicily once, but I was, like, super young with my family, so I don't really remember. I don't remember anything. Oh, no, actually, that's the thing I remember. The, um, the temples in uh, Agrigento. Like, I barely remember. Hmm. Oh Lord, they gave me this card. I think I'll uh, shuffle this back, let them cast these, and then I'll just hope to top deck a forest to, uh, to island to play this, or rather I lose. Yeah. All right, let's, let's top deck island. Let's prego. Island. Island, por favor, señor, dame un isola. Dame un isla. Un isla. Un isla. Island. Ah, fanculo. Unisla, Unisla Bonita. I didn't. It didn't give me any island. No islands for Mango. No Gankaniva. I have never. All right. What do you do? I mean, it depends what you have. Cause if you don't have much going on. Oh wow! You kissed another shark typhoon. <laughs> Lul. LUL! Alright, we got another turn to draw the Isla Bonita. Die. Yeah. Island! Nice! Pam! Resolve. Nice! Cut so nice! Oh. Um, they don't have Artless Act, or they would have done it earlier. Right? Buongiorno, buongiorno, Riley. We're in a close game over here. All right. I'm getting my friend time walk. I'm getting uh, the, uh, the, the, the Valky God of Lies. And now I can get the Boring Clex. And if opponent gives me Boring Clex time walk... No, I don't think I can get Boring Clex. Uh, I guess I don't take time walk? Maybe I just draw four? Can I beat two? Because my opponent, in case you didn't know, guys, they have two Shark Typhoon in play. <laughs> oh, Valky for sure. A Aaron's Epiphany for sure. I'm just gonna get... I'm just doing a classic Mango play. My kick guess. I'm just drawing four cards. Drawing four cards, chat. I need, I need to draw four cards. I, I, I like to draw four cards. 
Bro, change one. Opponent just loves to arc cast a shot. I mean, one of them that got it with uh, the, 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 the ultimatum. Oh, wow. They leave me this cards? Okay. I don't have much to do, unfortunately. I think I'm gonna cycle a... No, aspetta. No. I'll just play Yorian, I'll spit Nightmare here. In this order. <laughs> Why am I playing Gasp of Nightmare, though? I think I'm playing Gasp of Nightmare. Alright. I put his four cards in and two Shark Typhoon in play. They're on eight. I have eight damage in play. They have to have something. They have to have something here. Once again, I could have done so many different plays. I just had to just draw four cards with the Seagate Restoration. It didn't end up being that good. Here we are. Let's see how this goes. Okay, that's just a raw bird. And you pass? What do you have in end? We win! Man! That's so crazy that we won this game. Control King. Control King. You gotta change the name. After this game, you just have to, just, you just have, to change your name, I think. You can't call yourself Control King and leave, end the game with two shark food in play. That just... Not possible, unfortunately. You can call yourself, I don't know, Harkas Shark Typhoon King. Maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's a proper name. This is how I sideboard in the mirror match. Vamos. Control Peasant. King. The king. Why don't I play Crooked's list? <laughs> uh, I didn't check Crooked's list. Is that much different than mine, W. Cowan? I have to go refill the water. In the meanwhile, Control King is sideboarding. Hey, glue, 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 glue. Oh, I have taken two pictures. Of me casting Shark Typhoon. He plays Migration Pact. Okay. Control King is a good word. I've kept a one lander earlier. Unfortunately, I can't keep a zero lander. Man, I play like 42 lands. I'll be in it. Uh, Alright, I keep this one. I'll bottom, uh, I think I'll bottom a land. Yeah, I like. This is not like Urug or Spiral matchup. You don't need to hit all your land drops. Have I been watching Crookies versus Trusky? I have not, unfortunately. I like to watch Upumpa89 in the afternoon. He's an uh, Italian streamer friend of mine. Very entertaining. I am a subscriber of his. All right, that's a is my tone. Interesting. Since when do I have these glasses? It's been a long time at this point. I can't actually remember when it's when it started. But... This summer for sure. I had these glasses in the summer, so it's been a while. Italian champion indefinitely. Yeah, 2018 Italian champion forever. Our opponent with. Uh... Mm hmm. Okay, uh, all these cards are not actually. Jarvis is Eagle, Fast Cliff, Alcat. So, what about the Alrun's Epiphany on the other hand? Nah, yeah, I'll keep it. I will keep it. Although, unsure what I want to do now. 
I want to keep Jaguar Disruption as a spell. Um, I might suspend the Aldrin's Epiphany here. Yeah, I will do that. So I'll play a Swamp and I'll suspend this. You miss GPs? Yeah, there's a lot of things I miss. One of them is definitely GPs. Definitely. Alright, didn't get punished for tapping out. You love to see that. I'll uh, play a land here. And play Duress. From Sa Urza Saga. This is the Urza Saga Duress. Very pretty. Mm, negate? Negate? Okay. Okay. Am I getting back uh, Big Bird? Is there something mean happening on 5 mana? Nope. Nope. I'll get back Big Bird and that's yours. I still go sometimes to the LGS. You can't play tournaments, but uh, you can just uh, challenge uh, challenge people in like commander games or uh, I don't know. I play commander, old school popper, play all the formats. All right, they did the uh, the same thing over there. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I can't really do much. Unfortunately, I have to pass up. I have to pass the turn here. If I tap out, they can just go time walk and ultimate him. Yeah, yeah, I do that, but Shaper. I do challenge uh, them. I'll um, I'll play a Jawara Disruption here. I'm hoping my opponent will uh, play around uh, a counter with their uh, time walk. If they don't, they just have a time walk. It's not that big of a deal. What am I playing Commander? I always have the same deck. It's a um, Omanath, uh, Locus of Creation deck. I believe that's the name. You bring your Trade Binder. No, I don't. I don't. Uh, I never give any cards away. I keep all the cards. I've never given a cards in like five years or something. All right. They didn't play around anything. Impressive. No, Riley, it's not, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a good deck. I only have cards printed or reprinted in 2020. I don't even have Field of the Dead. It's not, it's not a very good deck. I give you a Flying Man for free, for free. Let the world know that, Gira Uno. Let the world know that. I gave you a Flying Man for free. Do I like Standard? Yes, I like every format of Magic. Every format of Magic is being created equal, and I like them all in the equal way. Omnath is not a good deck. No, like for real. If you look at my deck, you'll see a lot of like bad cards that I just play because. No, no, you didn't stole it to me. I, I actually brought to you. Is it mine? The Omnath deck? Yeah, it's mine. It is. When, if I visit Finland, we should invite you to play Legacy and Cube for sure. Although, see, Delio, if I ever visit Finland, I will be with my girlfriend and... Uh, I uh, cannot, or rather shouldn't, shouldn't play Magic with, when I'm with my, with my girlfriend. Actually, last year I went to Paris, and I, I went to the Eternal Weekend Vintage. But, you know, it was, uh, it was programmed. It was all programmed. Crack Omen to guarantee the ultimatum. What? Can the Omen find me a Mox? A Mox of the Sultai Collars, you think? That would be a good omen if I can't find the mox. Okay. Oh wow, Chad, you're right. I didn't think about time walk. I'm talking about. So I'm talking so much about nonsense that I don't see displays anymore. All right, we have the the, the ultimatum. Man, thank God I play with chat. Imagine playing magic by yourself without chat helping you out. Ah. Huh. Ah. Huh. Just imagine that. Oh, Riley, if you look at my deck, it's not its not good, I swear, I swear, I swear, my, my deck isn't particularly good. It just has, like, some... It just gains life, that's all it does. Oh, I have a very good card. It's, uh, Felidar Sovereign. That card is very good. I have, I have so much life all the time. I'm very defensive, yeah. 
Riley, I, I've been taught how to play commander. You always have to say that you are losing or you have a bad deck so people don't attack you. That's the strategy that I've that I've learned. So you run Ura in it. Yeah, foil Ura in it. I also have a foil Brandon Six in it. And I have a foil Stocasso. Win! Woo! I'm not counting. I'm not counting, but I believe I won almost every match today. The only time I lost was against Boris. Alright, keep. Let's go Temple of Mysterio. Show me the goodies. Ultimatum. Uh, I think I'll leave this on top. If opponent doesn't have a companion, it means they need to play aggro. Usually. Maybe not. Maybe not. And I got got. I got. Got. Alright, I'm gonna go Fable Passage. Pick up a Swamp. Your go. Thank you, Hop. We'll say. I'll be back tomorrow. What's, what day is tomorrow? Is it Saturday? Yeah, I'll be streaming tomorrow morning too. I'll be streaming tomorrow morning as well. Yeah, the do the fetch lands were reprinted in um in the box uh, topper box topper. Lura, let's go forest swamp. And also in the secret layer. And also in the secret layer or whatever. Whatever was the last one. Alright, keep on cultivating. I'll cultivate a win in your chat. That's what I'm cultivating. Alright, get a four oh, look, I need forest for island, forest island here. It's fine. Island in play. Ryome. And then it's your go. Look how many lands I have. Look how many lands I have. Yeah, urine is a good card. Uh, um, Allura, what am I getting here? Um, swamp. Swamp cast me ultimatum. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get a combo chat just for you, just for you, okay, chat. I'll do it only because of you. When you put a stop down, you can do the combo. Cultivate is busted? Nah. Yeah, the, 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 this is rare. This was the box. I don't remember exactly what it was. But that is rare indeed. 60 cards is okay? Yeah, 60 cards is okay. If you don't have enough wild cards, it's okay to play 60. What's better than one ultimatum in one turn? Oh, let's just get another ultimatum in the same turn. Vertov, it's actually an idea from uh, a viewer of the stream, uh, Gnip. He asked me to do that event, to play an event. Then the event got cancelled, but I still build the deck. And, uh... I play against my friends and the game is actually super balanced, so I, I don't want to go back to just personalizing the, the deck anymore. I'll wash my hands and I'll come back. Alright, let's go! Ooh, I have the Ketra Trium. And cast the side of Valky, the other side of Valky, God of Lies. <gasps> okay. I think I'll play Valky, maybe. My opponent, no, nah, now that I drew which wire disruption, I'll just pass it back. My opponent might have Bone Crusher Giant, so Valky could become Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, love your wire disruption. It's actually been very good for me. I'll play top land and pass. <laughs> wow, upscaling. 
Is that actually true? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Am I casting the God of Lies? Kind of bad if they Bone Crusher it. But I might just negate it if they Bone Crusher it. I must see that. I might cast some in the face. Oh wow, they have three of a kind? <laughs> LOL! LOL. LOL. Terror of a Pepega. Another Jawara Disruption. <laughs> it feels so good to Jawara Disruption, like Mythic Rares. Pepegata. Pepegata! Alright, the rest. Yeah, this game has just been perfect, honestly. Everything lined up so well. So, so well. But that's what happens when your deck has cheap cards. Everything just lines up well. You'd be like, Mango, you have, you have literally a million seven drops in your deck. That's true. That's, you made a good point, chat. You made a good point. Absolutely. <laughs> you made a very good point. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll pass here. I have negate up in case they go ultimatum green. Uh, team here, sorry. Nothing happens. I'll uh, make Valky a Terra Pepega. Why no bird? Because I plan. I was planning on making Valky a Terra Pepega. Now I'll get back bird. Chip chip. Chip chip chip. Okay. Castle Vantress, Scry Top. This could be a Genesis Ultimatum. And it is, in fact. Negate that. I haven't won yet. I have not won yet here. I think I'll shoot them for four and pass the turn. A submit zero. Can you cast a second Valky now? Yeah, yeah, for sure. A victory! Le victory! Oui, oui, oui! What? It was a long time ago, though. Certainly not yesterday. <laughs> yesterday I played as for Doom. It wasn't. It wasn't that good. It was fine. Oh, mono red. Oh, that's that's an interesting matchup. I've heard uh, I've heard that mono red is good against Sultai, so it's gonna be interesting. I mean, certainly is against this hand. Why am I playing a slow deck for climbing ladder? I'm not climbing anything. I am enjoying my experience of the magical the gathering game. I'm not looking to climb anything. When I play at this game, I want to have a good time. I don't care about where I go. As long as I have fun. That's a nice 1, 2, 3. That's a nice 1, 2, 3. And I think Mango Zeranova loses before playing a single spell. That is impressive. That is an impressive um, result. Oh, Kaboya. Alright, good game. <laughs> Lul. Lul. Three cards. Board on the gates. And I don't. I don't. I'm bringing clanks for uh, all runs and boring clocks. Although boring clocks might be, might be needed for the combo. Cultivate is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, a couple boring clocks. Did you have fun though in this game? No, not that much. See, when people say you're a mirror match boring, what do we what do they want to see instead is Monored go one, two, three and you explode without making a single game state action. That's not boring at all. That's that's entertaining chat. Alright? This is the entertaining content that you that, that Twitch I wants to see. 
Mirror match, mirror match, you are boring. Monored? Fun. Fun, cazzo, fun. Alright, I'm gonna get Swamp with Fable Passage. I think. Get Island as well. Hmm. Okay, Island. All right, that's Javier with this with his torch, carrying his torch. Hmm. Them playing faceless haven means they don't have that many lands. Hmm. Two lands. Give them to Mango, gracias. I go to fifteen, then I go spit nightmare. Is there a good Monorad best of three? Um, I don't know, but I'm sure that if you go to Channel Fireball, you'll find the uh, lists. Channel Fireball always has the best lists. I'm working on this deck. I'll write a deep dive article. Either today or tomorrow. Opponent is embracing the best of one strategy of either I win on turn three or I have to concede on turn three, which is definitely an uh, underappreciated strategy. All right, another very good hand for me. Gracias. Hopefully, we will survive by turn three, and the opponent will be. Obliged to concede. Here I have turn two removal spell, turn three aspect nightmare. Pretty good. Roberto. Roberto is bueno. Wondering whether I should just eliminate that now or wait. I think I'll wait. Okay, eliminate now, begin combat. I keep the Heartless out, because that one can kill uh, Corbin. An Axe? Rimrock Knight. Wow, that plays around my Elspeth Nightmare. Very smart of you. Okay, then, I'll pass it back. I'll go Heartless Sucked again. Alright, that one dies to my Elspeth Nightmare, so that's perfect. Unleashment. Thank you, Unleashment. Welcome for the eighth month. Next month is the Raviolo badge. That's game says Kylerelli. <laughs> uh, that's true. Not true. Yeah, they can play like they can play good cards here. The game isn't over. What you got? Hey, how many cards in your group? Hmm. Next turn, I can deal me six. Sure. I'll uh, play a cultivate. I'll get ores for sure. And then I'll get swamp. I'll play Swamp and pass. Now, I'll play Omen, and with a Force to Renown, I'm able to play Ultimatum. Oh, they drew Quilloli. Okay, it's the same amount of damage. No biggies. Actually, it's less, but yeah. All right, that's the island is good enough, right? Let me see. Yeah. Do you want to draw the Ultimatum? Uh... Oh, look, I get Time Walk. I don't have boring clicks anymore. I think I don't mind drawing the second ultimatum in case they give me the time walk. I got a 12. Ex Exiling Graveyard is also not bad here as the Phoenix will not be able to come back. All right, what do we get? I get time walk for sure. Unfortunately, there's no Wrath of God that saves me here. All right, that's good. Exploded. 
Nicht. To pick up with the ultimatum. Alright, this end is low, but... I keep it. Opponent doesn't play Uorian, so it might be a slow deck, and Extinction Event might be very good against them. Sorry, a fast deck. Extinction Event might be very good against them. Link to Dust main deck? Link to Dust is a cyborg card, I think. Ashiok? No. Ashiok, my dead. Okay, Fireblade Charger. Um, I believe I will go Island, actually, Forest Pass. Okay. So that if they play Robber of the Rage, I can eliminate it. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot. I changed my camera. They play Javier instead, okay. I'm taking it. I don't care about two damage. I move it, right? Yeah. Sorry about the camera thing. I forgot. Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Got a swamp and exile all their creatures. Imagine thinking that Doom Scarf would be good in standard. That was, uh, you know, that was that was interesting. Imagine thinking that Doom Scarf would have been good in standard. All right, I go fourth land. Go. What about me? What do I do? And I can play Robert. Probably good enough. I'll go Forest. Robert, and you pass, and you go. A good old Robert, you play it. Six into play. Oh, Frostbite! I didn't expect it. Ah, that's how you. That's how you're beholden, I see. Ice E. You expect a lot of aggro in the tournaments this weekend? You must have played different formats. There is no other explanation. All right, I'll take the epiphany. I'll uh, take uh, the saga. All right. Got two cars. I'll cut Aaron's Epiphany. I'm always struggling with the last slot. I think it has to be Cultivate on the draw. I mean, Emerge Ultimatum against decks that don't really have a late game, it's win the game. But in the mirror match, is actually a skill testing card. I for sure lost one game earlier because I took the wrong pile, I think. And then, of course, you know, there's the good decks that pack up counter magic and that will be able to uh, counter your 7 mana card. And uh, the aggro decks, they might go under it. It's just that I have an extension event on time. I lost to Boros. My only loss today has been against Boros. So this doesn't mean that this deck is like crushes aggro deck. It doesn't. You have a good game. I mean, you, you, you just play a game of magic where you have early plays, but you know, it's not guaranteed. This deck crushes maybe the mid range without counter, let's say Rakdos or uh, oh, Esper Doom. But. Aggro decks that might go under you, or uh, control decks that might go above of you. Um, Alright, I'll kill the robber. The other thing is, is it? Uh, I think once or twice. It's, it's a close matchup. A sideboard helps a lot. Shark Typhoon, very good here. As I will be able to kill the Rimrock Knight. 
There's no above ultimatum. Oh, counters. A uh, counters is above ultimatum. The mere rogues that pucks up like main deck counters can definitely go above of it. Or even like the Izzet deck that has like this Dayful Stroke, Soit Common, and etc. Like counters is definitely a, um, a very good way to go above the ultimatum. There isn't crazies anymore. That's uncounterable. I go to 14. E I go Island. And I think I want to go Omen now. If I find a removal spell, I won't uh, foretell this Aaron Epiphany. Oh, I find Valky God of Lies interesting. Think about him, everything. I have to look for the ultimatum. Maybe I was supposed to bottom that. I don't know. He didn't check if he didn't play for decades? What? He just had Uro a few days ago. Alright, opponent cannot. Okay, sure. Ooh, Torben. Oh, yo, yo. A little bit too many lands. It's still okay, though. If I don't die and I draw ultimatum, I can go time walk ultimatum and maybe win. Call it mid range? What do you want to call it? Control? No, oh, control has counters. Or sweepers. Okay. The ultimate is. No, I don't like building ultiverse. I tried it. It was just. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that card. Alright. Fling. Link could be good, maybe. Okay. I'm gonna play Aaron's Epiphany here. Have to draw Ultimatum. Boring. Vortex isn't the worst. I right, guess Yorian maybe is better than Boring Plex. Right? Probably better. E I'll uh, play a swarm. And I'll pass. Mm. Ah, one too close. One too... It's fine, I'm, I'm not dead yet. That was the mid-range deck, you know? In a world of spark, you had control, and you had mid-range. Okay. That resolves. Okay. I'll cling the robber. I'll go up to three and then down to three. And the turbo will die. Oh, bone crusher. All right, I'm dead. Okay, I'm on the play now. Hey, do I want to change something? Mm. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe cultivate is is good. I really want to cut boring clex. I think that casting it is also reasonable. Hmm. Why not cut cultivate? Oh, Esper here is the last mid range deck. Yeah, that was so long ago. Play first. Uh, yep. Yeah. Every hand with two lands and an omen of the sea, it's, it's a key fight. I think it's fine. Magic changes. You don't have to stick to the same uh, ideas forever. Do 
You can call the, the Gruul deck with the Great Hinge mid-range if you really want to stick to the same labels. I think Esper Doom is a, is a control deck. Alright, go ahead and eliminate the Rimrock Knight. I draw top land. I mean, we'll see. Right, I... I'm inclined to just go home and now, because if I can find a top land, I'll play that. Okay, I like both of these cards. Wait. I think we've had a very good... I mean, after the 17th band that we had, right now Standard is in a good shape. Be especially before... Uh, before this set. I'm not saying that now it's not balanced anymore. I'm just saying that the previous set has been, you know, very balanced. We had only six decks at the end. But still, it's not that standard it gets solved anyway. I think the, the standard got solved and we didn't have a winner. So that was like, that meant that we, we reached a very good standard. And now there doesn't seem to be anything that stands out as very good. Most people play Soul Tide, but because, you know, Platinum or Ladder Gamer don't play Rogues. <laughs> if, you get, if you go into the MPL, leaks at the end of the month you'll see you know paulo vitor seth manfield play rogues and these decks will crumble I'm, i'll be one of them that will play this deck and crumble against rogues i'm sure all right um what do i do now i certainly have to go eliminate on combat mm, yeah i guess i can only do eliminate and suspend as other ones epiphany missing land drop really sucks in a deck like this for real I guess I could have not kept the Eliminator earlier. Yeah, maybe. Torban. Uh, Torban will... Uh, I will eliminate the Phoenix. Alright, the, the, the... Then I can clink the Phoenix if I want to. I have to draw lands. If I draw two lands in a row, I win, I think. Oh wow, okay, they deal me three damage here, sweet. Uplands, it's much worse. So much worse, in fact. Ay ay ay. Alright, how much how many cards do I have? Four. This one is five, right? So I can cast Valky just to chum block, or I can return Yorian. If I return, I don't, I don't think returning Yurin has any merit at all. I just play Valky. Okay, so they have Ember Clava. They can't reanimate Phoenix right now. I'll pass. Ember Clava does me, that deals me so much damage right now. You draw another fervor champion, porca madosca. Porca madosca, porca. Bene. I have to block a first striker here. I'll block a first striker. Uh, yeah. I guess I was supposed to not block a first striker. Oh, that's a mistake. I can get back Rimrock that before Torben deals the Oh, it doesn't matter if it would have happened the same way, because the second damage and double strike. Yeah, alright, it doesn't matter. Okay, they do that. Yeah. Probably dead on board. No, survive. Okay. All right. We're alive. We are alive.
I can cast ultimatum now. What do I get? What do I get here? Uh, I want to get extinction event. Extinction event. Yours best to see God, time walk. How do you guys like this? Extinction event, cures best to see God, time walk. It gave me extinction event, cure. I, I don't die. They gave me time walk. Yeah. Porca boya, this, the, the bell is ringing. Wait, I boarded out a time walk. Cats, I boarded out a time walk. I have to go downstairs, porca boya. Shadow verdict, I can't get shadow verdict. I'm gonna get... I don't know, Valky. Fuck, I have to go downstairs. Who's he? Who's he? The castle. Never run so much in my life, I think. A uh, duex equal uh, zero, right? Or no? Do duex equal zero? Yeah, right? One second, how many cards do I have in my graveyard? Four. So, I can't cast this cling anyway. I think duex equal zero. I can't, like, correct the omen to go back to that. Alright, ultimatum. Oh, binding as well. Binding is actually safer, I think, than ultimatum, does it? What can I get with ultimatum? Get the best sea god. I can get, um, like, um, best the sea god, Elspeth Nightmare, and I can get Boring Clex. I've never run in my life. Never. Not even once. Actual factual run zero time in my whole life. Alright, I'm gonna go best uh, the, the the binding deal gods kill the Ember Clava. Play like a dude. Yeah, because I'm on the I'm in the, um what's it called? Um uh, apartment apartment and I'm in the last floor of the apartment. Hey, do I keep attacking here? They have Ember Clava, it's still fine. They have Yeah, it's so good here. Okay. Or should I just go smashing it in? Okay. Doesn't do much. Yeah, I'm in the last I'm on the last floor, yeah, last floor. Which is like third floor, so I had to like Ghost Pain Dragon. Man, it's true I lose to Ghost Pain Dragon this way. 
Cats, I didn't think about Ghostbane Dragon. I didn't think about Ghostbane Dragon. Okay, I won't crush your face. I'm not dead. Second chapter. They're splashing Thor, but right? E um, I think I'd rather gain life than doing anything else. Does that leave me dead to... Like, Emerge Ultimatum can go get me what? Extinction Event. Shadow's Verdict. Cure's Best is No, Extinction Event. Yeah, I think I'll do this. Yeah, that's good here. Extinction Event. Um, Cure's Best to Sea God. Valky. Pretty good. I don't have any more timer, and I only have this 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 rope right now, so I have to play fast. I'll go wash my hands. No, actually, I can't go wash my hands. No, no timeout left. No, I targeted my bird. Fafanculo! The rope targeted my bird! I should have just gone to combat. When the... When the... Ah, when the freaking... Emotion of the cure appeared, the timer was still going down and I couldn't make any play. Ma va a cagare. Do I die to Ember Clava? No, I don't die to Ember Clava anyway. I have an 8-8. Say cazzo! Say!